Welcome back to Ixion and Chapter 5 and the Ilya system. The plan for this episode is to continue doing the uh, points of interest in the system and maybe, and just maybe, we will get to uh, see the uh, ending of the game. Although I have a mild suspicion that it will be one more episode. Now, um, by the time this episode goes out, there will already be... Um, community post on my channel, which I would like you guys to go uh, and have a look at if you haven't already seen it. Uh, there is a lot of new subscribers to the channel, and I would like to uh, be able to continue to uh, entertain you guys. I know a lot of you came from the guides, but those of you who are watching the Let's Play series, uh, you might have some input on what, to, uh, what you would like me to see, uh, play, what you would like to see. I don't have any particular new games currently uh, that I know that I want to play. I thought that I would uh, take a look at Against the Storm, uh, because that seems like a very fun game, but uh, a lot of people have already played that, so uh, that will probably just be some kind of relaxing, just enjoying thing. But yeah, go have a look at the community post. You'll see it in the uh, when you go to my channel, there is a community tab community tab and uh, you will find the post there back to the uh, missions we are running here in the Ilya system so I'm thinking we could remove one of these stockpiles and put down a mushroom wall because if I, rem I, I wanted to remove one of these if I do that I will lose the uh, recycling uh, tier 2 specialization for the sector which I really don't want to lose currently uh, but I don't need all of these electronics being produced. And as it so happens, the mushroom wall is uh, four by eight. So um, I can put one there. We'll do that. Uh, we also have the Lupercal planet to do. Scan analysis of Lupercal has provided some unusual data. The planet is home to numerous anomalies and high levels of carbon allotropes. Transmission from the Oppenheimer's team. Lupercal's atmosphere is very thin and toxic. Visible particles hang suspended within it and move in the light winds of the planet. Impressively, vast quantities of diamond encrust Lupercal's surface. The thin atmosphere will provide little protection. We have chosen a study location that rarely experiences direct exposure to Ilya, the star of the system. An increase of Lupercal's surface temperature could jeopardize the team's safety. Let's set up advanced infrastructure for analysis, exploration and resource extraction here. Uh, no, we don't need that. Actually, let's set up a small extraction and study base. The Oppenheimer's team will construct a small research base equipped with tools for sample and resource extraction. We can send the uh, Mimis Brunner for uh, doing that. Um, that's the Oppenheimer. Maxwell is at Romulus. Romulus picking up science. Uh, we need to find the other temples. How much ice is here? A lot. Okay. How about down here? A lot as well. Uh, okay. found the Temple of Common Sense and the Temple of Free Will, so we need to find the Temple of Merit, which I believe is down here somewhere. Let's build another mushroom wall here and power it off. The Maxwell has retrieved all of the signs from Romulus, so I guess we can move on to... Aventine? And there's the third temple. They are in a very distinct pattern here. A triangular pattern around the star. In here we want to build the uh, DLS center there. And we can also build another battery here. 
and then we'll have room for one more plus two People smaller. Of the BVS Tycoon, we have detected the presence of a BMS warship in the Ilya system. The Viranesi has followed in the footsteps of your Vol Trace. We have no weapons, no military solution against such an enemy. To ensure the survival of this settlement in Ilya, you will have to find a way to silence him once and for all. Of course. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Right. Um, how many colonists do we have in this sector now? 400. Non workers from sector 3 to sector 5. 400 of those. Colonists from sector 5 to sector 3. Migrate. We also seem to have lost the colonists from um, the previous chapter. I don't know what happened to them, but uh, apparently that's something that has happened to other people as well. So the Piranesi is back. How the heck did that ship survive? The... Uh, yeah. Administrator, everything confirms this sad truth. The Piranesi has followed us to the Ilya system. Great. Yeah. Administrator, I am not dead yet. I will feed on your beautiful community. I will build my rebirth. Are you ready for your simulation? Well then. Okay. Well, there's not much we can do about that. Uh, we'll just have to... Uh, wait. One of the science ship was done collecting science somewhere. Huh? Numitor. Oh, I have a ship at Numitor. Okay, let's send the Montessori to Vulcan then. Guess we should also research things. I don't have a hull temple. I mean, at this point there is basically nothing I need in regards to research. Um, I have unlocked everything that I wanted. Which is also one of the reasons why I'm so puzzled as to why the game throws so much science at us in this chapter. We have 770 science and we're still collecting science and we're going to get a fair amount of science from Lupica as well. Probe has completed its scan. Um, we can. I haven't bothered researching or um, probing up here. Let's finish Lubricol first, and then we'll go Aventine afterwards. A science ship team has completed a task. We are behind schedule with carbon extraction, but have discovered something incredible. Substrate readings are extremely promising and have shed light on Lyra Frouse's work on matter undulation. We would like to continue our studies on Lupercal. Um, can leave the planet, I think. If you do, then you're fine. If you don't, then, well... But we are going to continue with extraction and analysis. The Oppenheimer's team will continue to work until they arrive at a satisfying conclusion. Now Aventine. Preliminary data contains many inconsistencies. Aventine emits large amounts of particles that are not supposed to be detached from an atomic structure. 
although these emissions do not appear to pose any physical danger to our scientific teams, theorized psychological impacts range from the unknown to the disastrous. Dolus security protocols recommend extreme caution. Transmission from the Maxwell's team. We have landed on the planet. A powdery layer of yellow sulfur covers Aventine. It falls into the many crevices strewn across the planet's surface. The interior of the hollow planet is revealed through these fissures, which offer a spectacular view down to Aventine's core. It is unlike anything we've seen. Telluric pillars support the planet's surface, reaching up out of the central, perfectly spherical core. Like a metallic seed, it seems to absorb the rain of powdered sulfur that falls down upon it from above. We can study the surface. They will analyze samples from Aventine. Standard Dolus protocols are obsolete on such an atypical planet, and the team will have to adapt. We'll do that. I'm also very uncertain... Okay, I'm going to have to build one of the batteries here. Which I really do not have the room for. How do I do this, then? Can I get... Alloys out of the sector? Uh, sector 4. We set that to... Th yeah, that, that doesn't work. Sector 5. No, I'm going to have to do this. This. Yeah, they're taking alloys out of the sector now. We still have housing for 5,344 people here, which is impressive. I might have overdone the population sector a little bit, but overdoing things is kind of my thing. Let's see if we can find anything else down here. Not that we need silicon, but <laughs> quite to the contrary, we don't need silicon at all. Okay, the game is behaving a bit sluggish. I will be right back. That's much better. Okay, now... Okay, that one is done. We can empty it out. A science ship team has completed a task. Anal analysis indicates that the mass-defining particles that constitute the matter of Aventine possess an altered state. The surface of the planet contains many isotopes previously thought impossible. Many of our theoretical models have been called into question following the discoveries made on Aventine. Unfortunately, the planet's surface is extremely friable, making any longer-term exploration attempts unviable. Let's study the core with the help of our exoskeletons. I need somewhere I can put down a, a health center. Has arrived at its destination. I'll get around to that later. I don't want to take these down just yet. Too much iron left here. We could fit another health health center in sector one, I suppose. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Administrator, the scientific syndicate of sector one has found a solution for the Piranesi problem. Now that we have finally reached a viable exoplanet, the tycoon has no further purpose. The Scientific Syndicate proposed the following. As preparations are being made for colonization, the Tycoon's sectors should be filled with batteries. Once they are charged and the crew ready for exit, a flight path will be plotted for the Tycoon to crash into the Pyronesi. Igniting the stored power should be enough to destroy the BMS warship. Administrator, 
In the scenario where there is no longer any life on board the Tycoon, I am authorized as the PA of this station to lead it to its end. New objective, the last stand. And that's why I've been working on the batteries, because we need to cover an area of 1,000 tiles with batteries. Some of you already knew that, some of you probably didn't. I don't think I can fit that size battery in here, but I can fit the uh, tier 2 ones. We are done on Lupercal. At some point within its lifespan, Lupercal was exposed to strong gravitational and electromagnetic, electromagnetic forces, as well as nuclear... Oh, oh. As well as nuclear radiation. The team has put forward two explanatory theories. The first identifies Ilya's transformation into a white dwarf as the cause of this exposure. The second derives from the works of Fraus and Bargeville. It posits that the existence of one or more entities within self-similar space, entities that could or may interact with our material plane, would result in aberrations in the fundamental forces of nature. On the cusp of true discovery, the team has requested further time to be invested into the studies on Lupercal. We get 58 signs, and now picking leave is... They, they won't. So let's achieve the final outcome of the Lupercal analysis, and the Oppenheimer team is about to get some answers. We have also arrived at Vulcan, and I had an issue with Vulcan. There are numerous electromagnetic disturbances on the surface of the comet, of the comet Vulcan. Uh, apparently I can't talk now. There are numerous electromagnetic disturbances on the surface of the comet Vulcan. First visuals capture the comet's vibrant green tail. Transmission from the Montessori's team. This is the team of the Montessori. We have landed on Vulcan. Proximity analysis indicates the comet is shedding large amounts of boron. Significant electromagnetic disturbances have also been detected. They appear to be similar in nature to those that were observed on the Rokotansky comet in the Immortan system. You'll study the electromagnetic disturbances. The crew of the Montessori will attempt to locate the source of the electromagnetic disturbances. So that one is busy, that one is busy, that one is busy. And I need more batteries. Um, in here we can fit one tier two. A probe has completed its scan. Or rather, we can fit one tier three and one tier two. And then there's the matter of getting the health center moved to uh, another sector. Uh, Ship team has completed a task. Don and Alan team. The team of the Maxwell had great difficulty establishing a study protocol for the planet's core. After multiple attempts, conclusions indicate that the huge central sphere interacts with elementary particles, including bosons and Faust tachyons, in a selective and unpredictable manner. Ten previously unknown elementary particles have been identified. The data from the Aventine core analysis will pave the way for new scientific and technological models for years to come. Yet we do not get any science. Which I find a bit weird. Let's go to the Temple of Free Will. Again, I really don't see any need to research stuff. Uh, why not? It's not like we don't have the science for it. And I, I really need to uh, to move this. Um, almost done here. Has occurred in the tycoon. 
Now, I think we're going to take down this battery here and move the health center into this sector. The health center requires 50 workers. Now, in this sector here, we have 50 workers that we can spare for this. We have a lot of workers in this sector, actually. Sector 5 to Sector 1. I want 50 only workers without migration. A science ship team has completed a task. We ventured down into the crevasses of Vulcan, seeking the source of the electromagnetic disturbances. Entering a small cave full of luminescent boron crystals, we stopped to take readings. Results seemed to vary. Proceeding further in, we found a large, floating, grey sphere, similar to the one found by the Maxwell crew. After liaising with the Tycoon's scientific community, a number of controversial theories have been put forward and proposals made for possible experiments that might be attempted on the sphere. Debate continues. I've noticed a growing fascination for the sphere among the other expedition members. This is absurd, since it is obviously only for me. Let's uh, analyze the uh, sphere. The crew of the Montessori will study the sphere while under strict psychological surveillance. A science ship has arrived at its destination. We've arrived at the Temple of Free Will, and I need to save because I don't remember if this blocks a path or not but i don't think it does i think we need to take all th i think if the third the path is blocked when you take the third temple uh our sensors have located the ashtang guide temple of free will the structure emits weak electromagnetic signals that are barely perceptible despite its dilapidated state the temple is still powered transmission from the maxwell's team this is the maxwell team we have docked at the Temple of Free Will. There is an inscription in the temple's interior courtyard, written in several languages. Here we look up the illusion of free will. This fictional narrative prevents us from seeing what we are and what we can do. There is no choice, because the motivations that lead us to choose pre-exist the choice. Following the directions of the Ashtangites, we located the room where one of the three parts of the Bioengineering Center's blueprint is stored. The temple contains many objects and testimonies from people in joy, liberated from free will. That does not sound very liberating to me, but okay. Let us retrieve the fragment and leave. Re recover the blueprint fragment required for the construction of the Ashtangite Bioengineering Center and leave the temple. Now, we should still be able to build this, yes, so it is on the third temple. Now, here we do want to build a health center. And in addition to that, we can also build batteries. Set this to high priority. A science ship team has completed a task. Population transfer complete. How are we doing for colonization training? We are doing well on that. Sector 5 to Sector 3, 400 colonists only. Sector 3 to Sector 5, non-workers. And we're up to 1,240 colonists. A science ship team has completed a task. We are no longer receiving transmissions from the Oppenheimer's team. Behavioral analysis of their final communication has identified sh signs of unhealthy fascination and self-destructive tendencies. Before enacting what they referred to as the descent to other gods, the team transmitted a final packet of study data. 575 science and all, all five crew members lost. Not killed, but lost. So, maybe they descended. I'm sensing potential DLC material here. Who knows? Let's repatriate the Oppenheimer. 
The farewell message received from the team of the Oppenheimer allows us to legally classify them as lost and immediately repatriate all Dolo's assets and equipment. Ship repatriated. And it'll automatically come back to the uh, Tycoon. It has no crew currently, so... We almost have enough batteries to cover those 1,000 tiles. 650 inside, that is just ridiculous. And we have enough batteries. Need to remove this one. We need this space here. A science ship team has completed a task. Now I'm just waiting for the science events to complete so that we can uh, go into the endings. Population transfer complete. By applying preventative monitoring protocols, the team of the Montessori were able to counter any perceived negative impacts from the sphere. Successfully sending several measuring devices into the sphere itself, the team was able to collect a large number of unusually precise datasets. Another 575 signs. Eesh. That is 1150 signs just hanging around, in addition to what was already on the, the POIs. And, yeah... Let's perform the suggested experimentation. Based on our previous interactions on Rokotansky, scientists of the Tycoon have proposed a number of theoretical experiments that could be conducted on the sphere. These should allow for a complete mapping of the electromagnetic interactions generated by it. And... Let's see here. Is there anything else that I need to do now? Well, we could build batteries here, but I don't think we need more batteries, to be honest. Anything we can build in this sector at all that does make sense? This is too big. And we don't really need the, uh, the additional stability either. We could build a... no, that doesn't work either. Need that. I suppose I could build an algae farm here so you guys can see how it works. Sorry about that. Um, these add support for more plantations. Let me just speed things up. Uh, you guys are done, aren't you? The team has retrieved the fragment and boarded the Maxwell. Uh, so the Maxwell, you can go to the Temple of Common Sense next. A science ship team has completed a task. This is the crew of the... The science ship has arrived at its destination. Thank you, Eden. This is the crew of the Maxwell. I don't know how you manage it, manage it, Administrator, but we have returned. We have been with the Maxwell, existing in ways that seems inconceivable to us now. Passing through strange solid liquid and gaseous lands, matter behaved in a pattern outside of our accepted understanding. Time was not linear. Days were lived where the chronology of actions was not the same for every member of the team. We drifted in this Bausian morass, lost, till we were extricated by the Montessori team. Our ship is now in orbit of Vulcan. And this is where I ran into issues, but this time it seems to have worked. Because my issue was that I couldn't save the game until I decommissioned this science ship, because it had no crew. Uh, we need to assign a docking bay to that ship. Uh, sector 1... No. I suppose we can put it here. They can uh, collect the science, I guess. And with that, I think I will... No, we are going to go to the Temple of Common Sense first. OK. 
Kind of weird to have two ships called Maxwell, huh? A science ship has arrived at its destination. Our probe has found the Ashtangide Temple of Common Sense. Has it has manifested its presence so that we could locate it. Emitting weak electromagnetic signals, it still appears to be powered and functional despite its tilted axis. Transmission from the Maxwell's team. This is the Maxwell team. We have docked at the Temple of Common Sense. We came across an, ins an inscription winding around a temple column. It was written in several languages. We enclose here the illusion of common sense, a moral habit with origins lost in the darkness of the minds that wield it. The scientific method has repeatedly shown how counterintuitive it re how counterintuitive reality is. We must strip common sense away, leaving only empathy and pragmatism in their purest forms. These two modes will then find their rightful place. We have located the room where one of the three parts of the plan for the bioengineering center is stored. The temple's rooms contain objects and testimonies from left by people who have become cognizant to common sense and its bias. We'll retrieve the fragment and leave. Just for clarification, if you do explore any of the temples, you'll either lose or have your entire crew killed, so... The team will recover the blueprint fragment required for the construction of the Ashtangite Bioengineering Center and leave the temple. And we can speed things up. The batteries have been charged. There was a rather large iron patch down here somewhere. There it is. That leaves only the Temple of Merit. A science ship team has completed a task. The team has retrieved the fragment and boarded the Maxwell. How are things looking inside of the Tycoon now? Yep, we have that up and running, so we can shut this down. As for colonists... They're not quite done yet. I have no idea what I should build there. Probably nothing. Uh, is our algae farm done? Yep. So this is what an algae farm looks like. Uh, it can support up to a maximum of with that tech. Um, one, two, three four, five, six. Yeah, six fields. Um, however, um, you might want to see what it looks like. That's what it looks like. It does provide a lot of food. Four water to five per cycle. Automatically harvested every five cycles. So with six... Hold on. Be right back. Okay, I just had to do some quick calculations here. Now we're going to tear this one down for now. Um, so, if you compare the uh, crop farms to the algae farms, um, one crop farm with nine fields with full upgrades will produce um, 1.7 food per cycle. Uh, using 1.5 water and whereas one algae farm will have six fields and that will take 24 water per was it per cycle that was a bit silly of me let me get that back up again a probe has completed its scan that that has to do its thing. There is a timer on this um, chapter, though. If the Piranesi reaches Remus, I think, uh, you lose the game. Oh, come on. Or 
almost there. A science ship has arrived at its destination. There we go. So this takes four water per cycle versus 1.5 water per cycle. Which is considerable. Because if you take six fields, that means you need 24 water uh, per cycle. Which means that every 10 cycles, you're going to be needing 240 water for a fully uh, stocked algae farm. However, that same algae farm will produce 300 food over those 10 cycles. Which means that with fully upgraded algae farms, uh, you need two of them. Because that's a total of 600 food per 10 cycles. And that's more than enough to cover the... Uh, well, actually, you need 60.5 units of food with my current... Um, and this is on, on average. No, 60.5 units of food are produced per cycle on average. Enough star... Yeah, so I have 112.8% coverage of uh, food. Sorry, I'm misreading my own numbers here. And... Uh, so I could get away with two algae farms instead of four crop farms. Uh, but I would be using significant more water. Uh, because one farm requires 135 water per 10 cycles and produces 153 food per cycles. So it would also save a lot of workers because four crop farms requires a total of 160 workers. Whereas two algae farms requires a total of 70 workers. So it's definitely better. Uh, both in space requirements, worker requirements. I'm not sure about the water. It might require the water treatment plant. I'm not sure. And uh, I'm sorry about that. That little interlude probably means that I'm going to have to record the ending in the uh, final episode. Um, or in another episode. Which was not my intention. Uh, but I could, I suppose, just make this episode very, very long. Uh, game menu, save game. And then... So 29 underscore 4. I don't think I will be able to do both endings in, in this episode because it, it it's going to take time. But when we do this event, we are going to be locked in. And that's literally... This is a, where we do our... Uh, make our stand. Um... What I want to do is move the Tycoon to Remus. Because that's where we're going to uh, to end this episode. And in the next episode, we're going to do uh, both endings in that episode. Because I don't want this episode to be one hour, ten minutes long. We're already at 38 minutes. So um, I'll keep the science ship here. The Pyrenees is moving so slowly that we have ample time before it will turn into a problem for us. As a matter of fact, it will never turn into a problem for us. So this place is reserved for the uh, bioengineering center that we need to, uh, to build. We have zero colonists in training, which means that we can again take 400 colonists from sector 5 to sector 3, migrate, and then do the same the other way with non-workers we are up to i don't know if that counts the colonist that comes in but this 1640 colonists that's good this might be the final one we need i i'm not sure how much we need for Romulus because i haven't done that We have retrieved all of the science on uh, Vulcan. Let's go up to Lupercal. <laughs> and, I mean, it's maxed out at 9.99. I don't know if I could actually fit an algae farm in this distance here. Population transfer complete. That's four. And each of the fields is four as well. So I would need four times six, 24. And I don't think this is 24. Four. No, it's actually one short. This should be four, eight, 12, 24, 27. 
Whereas the algae farm is 4x7 instead of 3x6. Or 4x6, I mean, instead of 3x6. So I'd need one more space. What I could do, of course, is that I could put them up here. There's room for two of them. And I could cut off the road here. That might actually be worth doing. We'll have an issue with the food. Uh, because we can't fit the food in the stockpiles, I think. But let's build algae farms. People have requested it, so... Sacred 5... Oh, I moved population in uh, the meal cycle again. I also did some shenanigans with the... Uh, the alloys there. Yeah, that looks better. Welcome to Remus. It's quite a beautiful planet. Let's see if we can fit in those algae farms in uh, in this episode. I keep turning the wrong direction. I don't think I can because of that. Um, let's see. Yeah, that one's far, far away. I'll pause the recording and we'll try to fit down those algae farms before we end this episode. Here we go. Now I can place down the uh, algae farms. So just see that my alloys are okay here. Keep them at 300. And take these down again. And then we can put down two algae farms. It's going to take a little while to, uh, to finish. A probe has completed its scan. I also have sent out more probes. The system has a ridiculous amount of uh, resources, as you can see. So there's not really... Uh, you're not going to want anything uh, particular when you get to Chapter 5. Pyrnis is slowly, slowly moving towards us. Um, not too worried about that. Um, of course, the accident had to be in that stockpile. But I think we'll wrap up the episode here, and in the next episode we will uh, get the algae farms up and running. Or I will have the algae farms up and running. Uh, just so you guys can see the new food statistics, I've shut down the uh, crop farms. And uh, it should say 60 units of food are produced per cycle on average. Uh, or if it's... Um... Yeah, it should say 60. So that should be... Uh... That, that, that'll free up a lot of space down here. Uh, not that I'm going to bother uh, removing them. But just so you can see how the algae farms work. I have no idea how much waste they produce in comparison to the crop farms. They would have to produce double the amount of waste that these crop farms, these four crop farms produce uh, in a waste economy. Um, and I kind of doubt that they do that. But yeah. So I uh, hope that the uh, next episode will... Uh, be to your liking as that shall contain both the endings of the game if you have any questions and or comments then please do feel free to leave those down in the comment section and if not then again as per usual then please do feel free to leave an emoji or something down there just to help out with the youtube algorithms and as i mentioned in the beginning of the video do check out the community tab because i would like you guys to come with your input and feedback uh, so that i can uh, make some qualified decisions on what to play when I'm done with Ixion. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you all in the next episode.